I don't know what to do. If Scarface didn't kill you, I wish you could just tell me who did this to you. Too bad he can't answer you. Must suck being dead, huh? What is that? Oh my god. What? The gun. The gun. The, the gun is gone. What do you mean? You put the gun in there. You told me you got rid of it. Oh, lovely. I thought I saw smoke when I drove in. <laughs> I know it's early, but it's cold in here. Really? Or maybe it was your sister giving me a chill. Ah, yes. I heard that you interrupted Gordon, Tina. In the nick of time. I love my son, but that boy he has no sense when it comes to that woman. Well, I'm sure you told him that, right? In that tone of voice. And I'm sure he took it well. Well, Cord told me I had no business saying anything to him because I was in the same boat with my ex-wife. Sorry, girl. You've already paid. But hey, you're still alive. And now that we'll have some Buchanan money, I can take care of you right. I just, I gotta get these over to Clint Buchanan. And then you'll be set for life. We're almost there, Stace. You're not going anywhere. Hey, bro. What are you doing here? I might have some information about Victor Lord's murder. What kind of information? about the gun that killed her. Hey, sis. I was just swinging by to see what you're up to. See how you are, see how your little buddy's doing. So this is this really what she used to look like? Yeah. She was hot already. I know, but she wanted to look exactly like her sister. I mean, it's, it's uncanny. She's a dead ringer. Don't say dead in this room. So she went through all this just so she could get Rex Balsam? I did. I, I did get rid of the gun. I, it, it, it was only back here because... I stashed it in here when you came in. Okay, but why did you still have the gun if you thought that I used it to kill Victor? Oh, that's a long story. Better question. What happened to the gun now? I mean, who could have taken it? Mariska, what the hell are you doing? Stacy is nuts about Rex, but I put his gun to good use. Maybe I shouldn't be talking to you about this now that you're all straight and narrow. And... Yeah, don't worry about me. I put the squeeze on that old bag, Echo. She didn't want her baby Rex going to jail for killing Victor, so she got him to cough up the money. Nice, how much? All of it. And he signed all of it over to Clint. How much is that man gonna love me? Why would Court bring up Kimberly Andrews? Wrong ex-wife. Well, what other ex- Me? You. He threw our relationship right in my face. Oh, that doesn't make any sense at all. That's what I said to him. Was he comparing me to Tina? No, but he said they had children together just like we do. Oh, well, I mean, that's true, isn't it? And it obviously connects us. We're civil and friendly, you know. Yeah, well, Cord was just trying to protect his backside because I caught him getting sucked in again by that my little sister. So sister, she is my sister. Yeah, but are you saying it's all right? You think they hook up again? No, no, I am saying that neither one of us can stop them. And given your track record meddling in your children's lives, this is probably one you should stay out of. 
Yeah, you're probably right about that, but at least you know what's going on. So if Cord should give you a little push towards me. <laughs> what does he think is going on here? Rekindling of an old flame, I guess. Oh, no, no. I mean, that's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Well, that's what I told him. Especially given that Kim has resurfaced in your life. Good job, sis. You had the one thing that could get Rex and his moms to give up the money. Yeah, thanks for that, Cutter. You're welcome. Listen, if you want to cut for that, it's only fair. I know, you're all legit now, but if you want me to save a little, you know, in case you and I Oh, need that it. is so sweet of you. Okay, but I gotta get these papers over to Clint, so you go. Yeah, yeah, is he itching to spend his money right now? It's not like he could do much with it right now. He's under no. house arrest. Mm-hmm. The hospital's the one who's after his money. So Clint was gonna pay her bills. He wanted to have her moved back to Landview, put her up in the Buchanan wing of the hospital, but not that I could let that happen. How'd you get around it? I told him she couldn't be moved. Now that we'll have some Buchanan money, I can pay her hospital bills and I can get a genius doctor to get her out of this coma. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. You don't know that. You're not giving Clint those papers. I hope this isn't more information from Phyllis Rose. The thing I said about the gun being turned in to the police station, I didn't hear it on access to the Wherever you heard it, it's not true. I know, but it should be. Why? Cutter Wentworth had the gun, and he told me that he turned it into the police station, but obviously he didn't because you don't have it. How did Cutter Wentworth end up with a murder weapon? I don't think you're getting the whole picture. This guy is gonna bring us luck. I can, I can just feel oh, it. Oh, yeah, well, let's hope. Oh my God, is that real? Uh, yeah, it looks it. Your porcupine had a gun stuffed in it. Don't look at me, I just thought he was cute. Cute? He's deadly. Commissioner, you're not gonna like any of this. Why not? Because the gun that Cutter had, the murder weapon, it was Rex Balsam's. Back up, tell me again why you stole the gun. You, it's not really the time for this. <laughs> well, we need to figure out who took it. Well, whoever it is, they still gotta be here. Like now. Yeah, yeah, she's right. Because that gun was here as of 30 minutes ago, so who else is here? Nobody. You didn't keep nobody who worked for Clint, did you? No, I cleared them all out. It's just Echo, me. Shane? Shane's the only other person here. I'm standing here. That's what I'm doing. With a gun. I'm watching you talk to your dead dad. You don't know who killed him. You told the cops it was Toppy. You don't know. You didn't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. It was Scarface. Because that's what you saw, right? Yeah. <sighs> you're such a liar. You didn't see Todd Manning hit you that yeah, night. I did. You didn't see anything that night. You I couldn't think. have. What makes you so sure? I know who really knocked you out. Yeah, right. How could you know? Yeah. It was me. I'm the one who hit you that night. that real well. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? I bet Kimberly Andrews wouldn't even feel the sting in her side until she walked away. Of course, we may never know. She may not show up again. Really? You don't expect her back? Well, she came here in the first place because she had a friend that had some big medical bills. Yes, I know that. You told me. Apparently, she didn't know about your situation. She did, but she thought I could help her figure out something to do. And I was about to have her friend move to our wing in Landview Hospital. Yes, I know, but she wouldn't let you. No, Kim refused, mm -hmm. saying her friend was just too sick to be moved. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this was a setup from the get-go? Oh, <laughs> doesn't matter a damn what I think. Well, you'll be happy to know that the thought of a setup went through my mind, too. Oh. And that's why I sent... Rex to check it out. You talked to Rex? He came by to see me. Shocked me as well. And he said that Gigi sent him. Oh, no. Oh, God, poor Rex. And I believe that's why he was in such a giving mood. 
I'm still kind of surprised that he agreed to help you with anything, especially on Kim's behalf. Maybe this is the answer. What is? The hospital in Kentucky, Kim's friend. Maybe that's what I was supposed to hear. Oh, he thinks Kim is somehow connected to Gigi sending him to me. Uh, yes, I'm giving Clint these papers. What's wrong with you? I'm taking it back. Taking what? I don't have the gun anymore, dummy. I traded it for these. You gave it to me free and clear, no strings. That was then. Is Aubrey making you do this? Does she want you to give the gun in? Because it's done, there is no, no gun. No, this isn't Aubrey, it's me, all right? I had Clint's money first, and I'm taking it back. What? What are you talking about? Clint Buchanan's not getting a red cent. Neither is Rex or this freak in the bed. It's mine. I'm taking it back. Cutter thinks he found a Rex Balsam's gun. What makes him think it's Balsam's? Well, Cutter bought this stuffed porcupine from Roxy Balsam at the flea market. He brought it home and a gun fell out. A gun fell out of Morris? Yeah, we were pretty freaked out. And it was a 9mm, which is the same gun that killed Victor Lord, right? So we figured it was the murder weapon. There are a lot of 9mm handguns around. I know, but the way that it was hidden, it was just very suspicious. Where's the gun now? Cutter must still have it. I think he wants to use it to blackmail Roxy. Or Echo De Savoy. Or maybe he'll just go straight to Rex. Anything? You want not to go upstairs? A... No, not his room, your room, my room, extra rooms. He likes the stables. He wasn't there. I checked. And I checked the garage, too. And all of the cars are still there. Well, thank God Shane doesn't have his license. But for him to take the gun... No. No. Rex, he's not in that place anymore. Not from bullying. Okay, all right, well, let's not get historical about this. We gotta go over where the bullets are. You know, there was the one bullet that Rex pumped into Victor, and that's gone. I didn't shoot Victor! Well, there was a bullet missing from that gun! And if not you, then who? No way you hit me. You don't have the guts. What, you don't think I'm sick of looking at you, walking around, getting to do whatever you want? Well, my mom's over there in that crib. You put her in the ground. She never did anything to you. I didn't. My that. mom is dead because of you. But you got off. So I decided to punish you myself. That gun's not real. Oh yeah? You wanna find out? It's real, loser. My dad keeps it in the safe. That night I grabbed it. Took one of Clint's cars. I parked down the street from your dad's house. When I got there, you're outside the front door. Lying there, completely helpless. Like my mom was when you trapped her in that basement. I could have shot you. Yeah? So why didn't you? Mm, it can't be. No, of course not. Can't be what? What are you doing with loaded guns around the house anyway? Should we call someone? No, 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 no police. That's the last thing Shane needs. Okay. So someone other than Rex fired the gun, and the gun is missing, and Shane is missing. Whoa. I, I can't even. No, 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 it can't. It can't be because we would have known. Would we? One Life to Live will continue in a moment here on ABC.